It's exhausting. We have to do it, but it is exhausting to fact check this president. It's something that you, you know, I'm glad that there are um, news organizations, other people who are devoted, um, that's their job, they're devoted to doing it because it is really exhausting. I think that the tedium of uh, catching him when it's really pretty obvious, you got to be careful not to let it get tedious, not to let it get tiresome because you have to pick the ones that matter. 78% your house went down. I don't care about that with the windmill BS. Mm -hmm. It's even the windmill thing to me, I think is more funny, uh, if nothing else. Um, funny in a ridiculous way about him. Right. But you have to keep track of it because he uses it as a sales tool mm -hmm. for people. Close the border, it'll be good. It worked on this guy, this uh, congressman from, Florida, from uh, Texas we had on tonight. Yeah, this is the way to do it. This is the way you get Congress to act. You know, he's gonna do this. He did the same thing with the shutdown. Brinksmanship is always a dicey proposition. When it's based on lies and deception, it's even more of a gamble. And that's what's gonna happen if you close the border. That's why we have to track it. Yeah, but you know what? It works because, as you said- With the, some. The, the, yeah, it works. Well, there are a lot of people who believe, and there are so many. I mean, it's exhausting to go through. Not half the country. Most people, well, he still has a, he still has a lot of folks, and he had enough who believed a lot of the lies before the election to make him president. That is enough. Um, and he continues to do it because what does it do? It works. I'm a great businessman. I either. can't confirm the conclusion. I hear your rationale. I respect it. What do you mean by that? Because I don't see how he wins again with the numbers that he has right now. <laughs> I don't Have see Have you seen it. what the Democrats are doing? <laughs> well, no, listen, you, can, you can't beat somebody with nobody. We, we know that. Um, but, you know, I'm saying that that's one, of the, that's one of the practicalities of politics. But what I'm saying is we'll see where they have to be. They're nowhere in their process. Um, and, you know, it's going to be ugly. It's gonna, that's the way those processes are. It was the same thing on the Republican side last time. But he had a simple task as a president, which is to build off your base. Mm -hmm. He hasn't done it. So that would be my concern for him if I were working on his team. He won without having that big of a base anyways, right? He played the electoral game and whether some people, you know, are doing research on it now and calling it an electoral fluke. You call it what you want. The man is the president of the United yes, States. Yes, he is. But they believed enough of the lies. And he told a lot of them before the election. He's mm -hmm. told, you know, more afterwards. They be enough. They believed enough for, for him to be president. And it doesn't matter to them. Have you seen the, the stuff that Allison uh, Camerata does in the morning on your old show? She did it with you on, on New yeah. Day. Um, when you get those focus groups on, well, many people say, I don't really care. Yeah, but I look, care I don't know the who they are. I, I don't know how those panels are selected. There's a reason why I didn't do them. But the, what I'm saying is this. There's no question that people buy into what the president's selling. I, I get that. It's just unusual that you come into power, you cut taxes, you cut regulations, you say all these things, you get lucky a lot, and you still don't grow your base. It's unusual, Don. I'm yeah, telling you. it is. Uh, imagine if the economy wasn't in the position that, that imagine if the former president didn't set him up for this economy. I imagine if people didn't see the economy the way they see it. Imagine yeah. if they saw it the way Donald John Trump used to see it. Don't give me the unemployment number. Give me the underemployment number, he used mm -hmm. to say. What kinds of jobs? Yeah. How many hours? What is their quality of life? Those metrics are not great right now. Yeah. So he's benefiting in a lot of different ways. I'm just saying. I point out the lies when they are instructive of a tactic because I don't want my audience to be played for a sucker. I agree with you. I'm just saying it's, it's, it's exhausting. Every time he says something, every time he has a press conference, you have to fact check everything because Let's get my after point it, is that you, can, you, can't just let it. It, you can't just let it sit there. Uh, and we're going to talk about some of that uh, in my open. You did it in your closing. We're going to do it in my open. It's good to see you back in the studio looking fresh uh, and handsome as ever. So we'll you like my new look? Tomorrow. What did you do? <laughs> I'm kidding, nothing. I wear the same thing every night. <laughs> get, All right, I'll be did watching. Did you go get a little work? No, I'm, I'm going to. Yeah, that's where I was. Yeah. That's, where, that's where I was in. That's why I was on the border. Yeah. <laughs> you get work cheaper down I hear here. it's cheaper down here. <laughs> you took the words out. <laughs> I brought you something. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, obviously it didn't work. Thank you, Chris.